Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we will learn how to uh, do fireworks. Um, this is going to be pretty fun, so let's hurry and get started. Uh, open up Blender. Close the little pop-up. Hit X to delete. And I'm going to hurry and turn on the screencast. So now, I, now whatever I hit down here, it'll show up. Okay, so hit 1 on your numpad, scroll out just a little bit, hit control, alt, zero, that will move your camera over to the side view. Now hit shift A, hit UV sphere, uh, segments make maybe eight, and rings make uh, three. Okay, now it, it doesn't quite look like a circle, but that's okay. What we're going to do is this circle is going to start down here and on a, on a firework it's going to go poosh, it's going to go up in the air okay and later we're going to create the explosion up here so let's go ahead and make this really small uh, maybe like that small hit G to move it move it down here near the bottom hit I your, make sure your mouse is up here on the screen hit I lock rot okay now what that, do, now what that does is it's going to it saves that on the screen. Now go hit the right arrow ten times so that this right here says ten. Okay. Now go ahead and hit G. Move it up to like right here. Okay. Keep in your mind that uh, every 24 of these little frames right here is a second. So when you hit G, you're moving it up one third of a second, pretty close to that at least. So, depending on how fast you want to shoot up in the air, that's how far you want to bring it up. So hit I, oh, make sure your thing's up there, hit I, lock rot, G for grab, go up just a little bit further, oh, make sure you move your thing 10 over, so it says 20, hit G, move it up, Click I, I lock rot. Okay, now hit 20 or er, go to the 30 down here. Hit G, move it up. I lock rot. We're going to go 10 more. So go clear to 40. Hit G, I lock rot. Okay, now hit, now just hit your right arrow once. It should put this at 41. Hit G, so that'll be grab. Move it over here on the side. Hit I, lock rot. Okay, now it's just saying after 40, it's it's gonna be gone. Okay, so go back one, just so you can see it. Hit Shift A. Now make a UV sphere. Uh, what? Well, this is our firework. Pretty much. This is the launcher and this is the firework. You're gonna go to the four star looking things. No, that means particles. Hit the add, hit the number, and make it a hundred. Hit start, and because we're on 40, you want to hit start 40. And we want 42. We want to almost all explode all at once. Lifetime 20 and we want random clear up. Okay, what this does is it'll start the particles will start coming out of the thing at frame 40. So frame 40. And the, the, uh, they're all going to be out at 42. So if I go over f two times, that's all of them. Okay? And they're they're not doing much. They're just uh falling pretty much. So go back to 40. If you did what I did, make sure you're at frame 40. Uh, put your normal at about 6. Now, if you go and hit your right arrow a couple times, it explodes. Okay? And you have little dots all over your screen. Make sure that you always, if you change something anywhere with the firework right here, that you have to go before frame 40 or else it won't work right. Okay, so 
as we scroll down uh, there's a couple of things you can do you can rotate it if you want like it when the things come out they'll spin but they're dots right now so it doesn't really matter um, there is one thing we really want to change if you hit F12 right now you get this dot right here and you don't want that if you hit escape now and hit the right arrow okay yeah you still have that dot even when the fire when the firework explodes but if you click this emitter button and hit F12 it disappears so what you get is the firework what you want is there okay so it escape and you're more than welcome to play with this this is your project so uh, I mean you can play with any of these things down here um, if you hit this little circle that has two black triangles and two orange triangles click that hit new hit halo and you can change the size but I personally like it at 0.5 um, but I, I like blue blue is my favorite color so and then that that's just the color of your firework pretty much uh you can make it see through firework or like almost invisible or you can make it all there um i like to hit these lines they kind of come out really good with your fireworks and i don't know if you've learned anything but blue and yellow go pretty good together so if you hit f12 that's what I've got so far. If I just take off the lines, that's what I got. See, those lines to me make a pretty big difference. Uh, there's a couple extra settings you can play with, like this texture. You can do stuff in the textures and make it a picture or something. But uh, I, it looks pretty good right now. Okay, one other thing we have to do. So go to frame 40, 40, hit enter. Okay, now hit G and move move your uh, big thing. And if, if you don't have it selected, just right click on it, hit G and move it right on top of your uh, thing that followed up here. Okay, and hit I, lock right. Okay. So now, if you go to zero, and you go, and you just kind of hold down, you can go as fast or as slow, backward, forward, whatever you need to do with your arrow keys. You can hold it down and it'll go fast, and it will kind of show you what's going on. So I'm just going to hurry and take maybe like three pictures, take one there, show you what it's going to be like. You have this little circle, let's go up a little bit further maybe like right there okay it's not going to be too noticeable but that's okay and if you're too worried about it you can go to the particles right here and change this to 41 okay now if you hit that it'll be gone and then the next frame it's there okay now let's go up a couple more frames you get your firework and it disappears okay um, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll be right back to you and I'll show you what it ends up to look like one more thing you need to know um, so it's all done now but if you want it to have a black background all you have to do is go to the little world right here and just change this to a black now if you hit F12, it's black. And let's go right there. It looks a lot better. Thank you. This is it, and thank you for watching another Blender tutorial.